This is a video of review one. So apply the sinusoidal function radians through the following points. Try to plot one of each type using phase shift. Uh, when you finish press, check my work. So just like I said in class, I would check uh, each equation after you write it. So make sure it's like if you have one of them wrong, then if you did it all four and you didn't have one of them wrong, you wouldn't know which one necessarily it was. So, so from five to eight, so from the center line to the maximum is an amplitude of three. So I go to three and for the sine curve, I'm starting right here and ending there. <coughs> so there's a period of two. So two pi over two would be pi. And then uh, x, there's no phase shift. And the center line is five. And that dash red curve goes through all the points, so I know I'm right. And the second one, amplitude doesn't change. We're doing a negative sign. The B value doesn't change. What's going to change is my phase shift. Negative sign, I would start right here because this is going down then. So the X value of my starting point is 1. <coughs> so that works. Positive cosine. Amplitude is the same. D value is the same. And it's just where I start. Positive cosine is start right here. The X value is 0 0.5. Plus 5. And then negative cosine. Do the same, cosine same, B value is same. It's just my starting point is going to be different. So negative cosine starting at a minimum. Right here is a minimum. So X minus a negative 0.05 would be X plus 0 0.5 plus 5. So a positive cosine, I could start right here too. So in other words, if I made this a 2.5, still should be right. And for negative cosine, I could start right here. That'd be minus 1.5. So depending on where you start, the values of your starting point would be different. So, these are two other equations I could write for positive cosine, negative cosine. Uh, negative sine. I started here. Uh, well, those are the only points that I can see, so I'll just leave that one alone. And then for positive sine, uh, another place I could start would be here at 2. Oh, I could do x minus 2. So depending on where you start, there's infinite many, many answers here, but because I'm only given certain points on this graph, then I'm going to use the ones that are listed here to help me uh, make the right equation. 
All right, so this one, uh, question two, sketch the graph. I'm going to start with a sketching the graph well, first. So y equal 3, I'm going to use a scale 1 on the y. So y equal 3 is right here. And then amplitude of five. One, two, three, four, five. We go up here. And down five would be at negative two. We go ahead and label these horizontal lines. This should be y equal eight. <laughs> this is y equal three. And this is y equal negative two. All right, the period is 100. So uh, one of the other activities is that take 100 divided by four is 25. I'm going to get each one of these 12 and a half here. So this is going to be 25. Let me make it in blue. That tick mark is 25. This one's going to be 50. and 100 and then graph this And add zero, the graphs at a minimum. So I'm going to use that sentence to show you where to start. So minimum at zero, and then at the period, you'd have a minimum. And halfway, then maximum. At 25, you'd be on the midline, and 75 on the midline. So if I were to label these, this is uh, 50 comma 8. This one is 25, 3. Only 5, 3 right here. This would be zero negative two. And I'm not gonna label that one. There's just a lot of stuff right here that I'm not gonna label that point in. I would take my pencil here and try to draw a cosine curve here. shaky here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can do it better. Mm. Well, it's a little bit too pointed, but go with that. All right, so the equation be y equal and this is a negative cosine curve so negative the amplitude is five cosine it said do it in degrees so 360 over the period 100 
x and my midline is three. The only thing I might change here is change that to a 3.6 there. So y equal negative 5 cosine 3.6x plus 3. And this one, the sock, just gets a graph of what's going on first. So this is going to be my y-axis. My x-axis. And the maximum is at 40. Minimum is at 10. And halfway between, you add those two together, it's 50, it'd be 25. Yeah, wait. So let's say at time zero, we're at 40, so it would be right here. Make it blue. In four seconds to go around, so two seconds you'd be the minimum one and three. One, two, three, four. Ugh. Oh, having a rough time today drawing this cosine curve here. So y equal this is a cosine curve starts at maximum. So fifteen is the amplitude cosine. In radians, it would be 2 pi divided by 4 seconds. And we'll say t is time in seconds. And then plus 25. So after 1 second, it would be 15 cosine 2 pi over four we already determined that but times one and plus twenty five is twenty five so we already have that here. In other words if I label this this is zero forty And one twenty five two ten and 
and 325. This point is 440. So you could simplify this to pi over 2. Alright, All right. you're on vacation on the beach. You notice that the high tide occurs at 3 and at 1500. That's military time, so... So that's 3 a.m. and 3 p.m. When it's high tide, the water reaches a height of 16 feet. When it's low tide, the water is only at 4 feet. Right? A degree representation of the scenario. So I draw on this. No, but I'll do it over here. So I think we fixed that, but not for my first period class, but the other ones I fixed this so we can draw on it. But anyway, <coughs> so I'm just going to do this a rough sketch. So 16 is my maximum. This will be this line. And four is my minimum. And add those together, I get 20 divided by 2 would be 10. Oh, we'll get in here. So this is y equals 16. This is y equals 4. is y equal 10. Call this midnight here, so I'm gonna do these here. So we'll call this 3 a.m. and this is 3 p.m. or 1500. So this is 3. 16 and 15, 16. And halfway between those would be 9. between 3 and 9 is 6. Oh, a lot of dog here. And one here. So this is 6, 10. And this is 12, 10. So this is one cycle of a cosine curve here.
Uh, so in degrees, this would be y equal, the amplitude would be from 10 to 16, would be 6, cosine 360 over 12, and t in hours. So. And this would be uh, a phase shift of three here, so. And then the uh, center line is 10. <coughs> 360 over 12 is 30, so I'm going to simplify this here. So 6 cosine 30, t minus 3 in parentheses, plus 10. Let's get the graph of a positive sign with the following features. Y is negative 2 is the midline. Line segment tool. And the amplitude is ten. <laughs> have to go by two here. So let me change I have to change this then. So scale two here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Over here. And down ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Michael negative two, y equal eight, negative twelve, and the period is. Uh, pi or two pi. <laughs> and the phase shift is pi over two. So let's make each one of these pi over four. Let's make this uh, scale a little bit different here. Let's see if I can drag this over here. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm recording. This is 3 pi over 2. This is 2 pi right here. So, uh, the phase shift is left pi over 2, so it'll be negative pi over 2 sine curve. Right here. So this is a uh, Negative pi over 2 plus 2 pi is 3 pi over 2. So from here is the period, then halfway between would be right here. And then the maximum would be right here. And the minimum right there. Whoops. Then plot the dots on the center line, that's why it's off. So this should be here. And then draw a curve through there. So y equal the amplitude is ten sign two pi over power two would be four x minus or x plus pi over 2 and then minus 2 this is a little confusing here is 2 pi divided by pi over 2 the pi is cancelled then multiply by the reciprocal you get 4 there so 10 Sine 4 times x plus pi over 2 minus 2. And we could take a look at that on the calculator. Calculator defaults the radian mode, so let's go back here. Ten sine four. Use this wrench to set up our try to make it look like this as much as possible. So on the x, we're going from negative pi over 2 to uh, 2 pi. Let's do that.
and on the Y. This step is I over two. And then on the Y, we're going from negative 12 to 8 by 2. If there is something wrong with my equation here. So one cycle should go from negative pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. Something's wrong with my B value here. Oh, that period is 2 pi. So 2 pi divided by 2 pi is just 1. So let me change this. So that's why I made a mistake. This should be a 1. There we go. So one cycle goes from negative pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. So this is right now. So I was dividing by the phase shift instead of dividing by the period. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is just 1. So I can take away this parentheses here. And same thing. On the calculator, it's an extra set of parentheses here. So I'm going from negative pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2 would be one period. Right? So on the center line, negative 2, <coughs> pi over 2 on the center line, pi over 2 on the center line, let me see. I graphed it correctly. So negative pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and pi over 2 on the center line. Then a maximum and a minimum. All right. Sorry about the confusion there. My B value should be 1, 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1.
All right, and this last one. Positive sign. Well, if I start right here, it's a negative sign. Positive sign would start right here at uh, x value of negative 12. My amplitude goes from 3 to 12, which is 9. <coughs> sign in degrees. 360 divided by one period would be uh, 24 from here to here or from max to max from negative 6 to 18 is 24 x and it's positive sign Starts at negative 12, so <coughs> x plus 12. And then my center line is 3. My midline is 3. So the only thing I'd change here is uh, 360 divided by. 24, I believe it's 15, yeah. or I could use your calculator, oh, it's not with the calculator up here, but, all right, negative sign, the negative sign curve would be starting at zero here, so no phase shifts. So it says try to use it with phase shift. So another negative sign would be right here at 24. One is 24 plus three. We could do a dot phase shift, the negative sign starts at zero there, but so I try to use phase shift. Cosine with phase shift would be starting right here at negative six. So nine cosine x plus six. Or x minus a negative six plus three. And then finally negative cosine. So starting at a minimum would be here at six. Extra set of parentheses in there. All right, those all check out. <laughs>